going to be discussing PowerView and how to transfer and share accounts. And we're going to have basically two methods for this. The first one is where the installer creates the plant first, and then one where the customer creates the plant first. All right, before we get too far into this, I wanted to go over the description of the types of access granting in PowerView. So the first one is sharing, which basically gives people the ability to monitor the plant, but not edit the settings of the inverter. And then the other one is transferring, which will give you both access to monitoring and editing of the settings. We'll start with sharing first, since it's a little simpler of a process. So the first step here is going to be the installer creating the account and then sharing it to the customer. Quick disclaimer about the dongle status for us. Uh, since this is a demonstration, all the dongles are offline when you show, but in your case, the dongle should be online. You should have gone through the setup process after creating the plant where you get the dongle to connect to your network. Uh, and so if you're having issues with that, please feel free to contact us and we'll help you with that. Um, but for the purposes of this video, make sure you've completed this step before proceeding. So I've gone ahead and just time skipped here to create the plant. So first thing with the sharing is that we're going to go to plant list. You'll see the plant that you created for the customer. And then you will go to the ellipses here and see some options. This is the easiest way to tell if you're the owner of the plant. Just click on the ellipses and see if transfer is at the bottom. If it isn't, you're not the owner. And so the first thing you want to do for share is you want to go ahead and hit the button to share, of course, and then type the name of the email address of the customer. And this is going to be the email address they use to sign up for their PowerView account. And then you'll hit confirm. And then if you just give me a second here, I'm going to jump over to the customer screen. All right. And so we're here at the customer screen and we're going to see if we receive the share. And okay, now we have the plant. So now if you were to go and see, if you click the ellipses, you are not the owner because the only thing you can do is disassociate. Uh, so that's how you would know if you're the owner or not, just the amount of options under that ellipses. And then once you click on the equipment tab here under your shared plant, you won't have access to actually change settings, just monitor what's going on. And also if you want to disassociate for some reason, you can just hit this button and hit confirm and you'll stop being able to monitor the plant. All right, so the next step is going to be to transfer accounts instead of share. Um, so to transfer an account, you're actually going to need to do some setup. So go to Gateway for the installer and look at the key and the serial number of the dongle. You're going to want to make sure that you take record of this, take a screenshot or something like that so you have access. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back over to the plant list after this. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go to transfer and then type in your customer's email address again. And then you're going to want to hit the confirm button and just make sure that you're aware that you're going to actually lose the plant in your plant list when you do this. Um, so that's why you need that serial number and key so you can get it back. All right, and uh, looking here at the customer's perspective, um, and you will just refresh the page here for a second. Okay, and uh, you'll see that the plant shows up here, and now you click the ellipses, you have all the options. That means you're the owner of the plant. So that's what transfer is good for, is if you want to have a customer that needs access, full access to their settings so they can change uh, everything remotely and things like that, um, instead of just monitoring. All right, so for this next step, it's actually going to be really important that you have installer privileges enabled. If you don't, you're going to need to call us at 972-575-8875, and that way we'll be able to give you the proper privileges. Once you have those privileges, you'll actually, let me refresh here so you can see the difference. So let me log out, and then I'm going to come back in after I have given privileges to this account. And coming back in here. You'll see that I now have a new tab called Company, uh, which has a few extra things. This means that you're under an installer privilege if you can see that Company tab. One quick note is that you can actually have multiple installers in the same company if you do have multiple accounts you want to use. Anyways, um, so to get access to the plant that you transferred, you're actually going to need to import the gateway. Um, and one thing I want to mention is that if you're an installer who has multiple people working under you and you have multiple accounts, you can actually only import the plant to one person at a time, unfortunately. Um, and you can do it two ways. You can either do a batch or an add one format. 
Um, so the first one we'll do here, uh, let's actually start with add one. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're actually not gonna use the customer name section. That's gonna be if we're the ones doing this for you. Um, however, if you're the installer, you're gonna need to use that SN number and the key that we were talking about previously. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in the SN here, and then you're gonna type in the key after that. And then you just hit the confirm button here. Right, and then you'll see it will pop up at the top, say successful, and you'll see that you can now visit the plant. And then we'll go back here to my plant list and show you that uh, if you get the account transferred this way, if you're the installer, you actually won't be the owner because you won't see all those options we saw prior. You'll only see these. Um, however, you still will be able to edit the settings on the inverter itself, and you'll still be able to monitor everything. Because uh, when we go over to equipment, you'll actually see, if it loads here, uh, you'll see the ellipses and you'll see those options available to you. So don't worry about that one. And then the other way that you can import the plant after transferring it and losing access for a little bit is the batch. Um, so the first thing you do is download the template and then you'd click the spreadsheet that you get and you'd open that up. And you'll see here uh, you'll get just two slots to fill in. It's just the serial number and the key for the dongle. The biggest upside to the spreadsheet is that if you have a customer who has a multi-system install, you need to actually import all of the dongle serial numbers and keys. Um, so using this method saves you a lot of time compared to the single input method. So just go ahead and type uh, everything that you have for each plant you want to add. So if you've got five, put five in there and then just save it whenever you're done. All right, and once you've typed that in, you'll just go back into the power view and go to import the plant again. And then this time you'll hit select files and find the place where you saved that spreadsheet and then select it. And then you'll want to confirm once you have. And then just give it a bit and you'll see that you get another message saying how many were successful and how many failed. Um, and hopefully everything is successful. All right, up until this point, we've been going with the assumption that the installer is the one who created the plant first. However, now we're going to go with the assumption that the customer was the one who made their plant first. And to get the installer access to a plant that the customer first created, what we're gonna to need to do is go to the equipment tab on the left and then go to the gateway. And then you're gonna to want to import just as before, either through the spreadsheet or through the serial number slash key number of the dongle. And then once you get that completed, you will have access just as before. All right, so that covers all the methods for transferring and sharing on PowerView. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave some comments below. We'll try to get those answered. And for anything more uh, complicated, you can always reach out to us through our contact form in the website that I will post in the description below. All right, so thank you for joining us today. If you learned something, please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and then ring the bell if you want to be notified of any further videos. We'll be trying to pump these out as much as we can. Hope you have a wonderful day.